So today I'm going to show you how to add themes to your locally hosted WordPress. This is a continuation to a previous video where I showed you how to set up XAMPP to host your own WordPress installation. So I'm assuming that you already have that set up and you can access your admin panel and all that. If you're not that far, I'll just link you to the old video and you can go through that before you work on this one. So with this, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to add a theme through the WordPress admin interface. And then I'm going to show you how to do it through the XAMPP folder uh, structure. So if you want to do it through the folders, like the uh, copying and pasting in the correct uh, folder directory, skip forward in the video. If you want to do it through the admin panel, then uh, I'm just going to do that right now. For this tutorial, I'm just going to grab a, uh, a random free theme. Uh, it's called underscores. It's like a super basic theme. I'm just going to call it uh, a test. And I already have it downloaded, actually. So that's what this test.zip is right here. This is the actual underscores theme just called test.zip. So to install it, I'm just going to go to my admin panel and then I'm going to go to appearance, themes, and then add new. So if you just wanted to install a basic theme that's already included in WordPress, then you can go through any of these and you just literally hit install. It's super simple. So, uh, But if you want to install an outside theme like I am, then you have to go to the upload theme option at the top here. And then you can just drag the theme to this browse button right here. So. I'll just drag it right here and then I'll hit install now and then it should just take a few seconds to install so it says theme installed and successfully now I can return to the themes page and then it should show up in the list so right now you can see it's right here it's called test and I can activate it and the theme will work so then um, if I instead want to do it through the folder structure then it's slightly more complicated but it's actually the way I prefer to do it so um, if you go back to where we have this test.zip so I'm going to right click on it and go to extract all because essentially when you are doing it through the admin interface, it can extract that dot zip for you. But when you are going in through the folder, uh, the folder structure, you have to give it the already unzipped file. So I'm going to go into test here and you're going to see there's another folder called test. So make sure when you're dragging in your theme, it's the lowest level directory that has all the stuff inside it. So this is the one I want to copy because when I double click in it, I can see everything inside it. So I'm going to right click on it and say copy. And so now I just copied the unzipped theme and now I need to go to the correct direct directory to copy it into. So to do that, I just have to go to where I've installed XAMPP. So I have XAMPP right here and then htdocs and then wherever your WordPress installation is inside Word htdocs. So mine is called WordPress dev and then WP content and then themes and then you would paste it in right here. So you see I already have a test because that's the one I just installed through the admin panel. So I'm actually going to delete that and now you'll see when I delete that and go back and refresh then test will disappear because I just removed that theme. So now I can just put it back in. So I can just paste test back in. So that's that theme that I just extracted. And when I go back here and hit refresh, now that theme is here and I can activate it. So those are the two ways to install themes on WordPress, either through the admin panel or through the folder structure. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you.